Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. The media spins Trump's G7 summit, but here's what they don't want you to see. The mainstream media tried to turn President Donald Trump's historic G7 appearance into another circus. They focused on the devastating statements from other world leaders, including one already famous photo. But there are a few things they are leaving out. This weekend, President Trump met with other world leaders at the G7 summit. It was an important meeting, where the president discussed the massive trade imbalance that the United States has with our allies. President Trump was unapologetic when he laid out his plans. The United States will no longer tolerate the lopsided situation we have with Canada and other nations. They are allowed to dump their products into the United States, with little or no problem. Meanwhile, our goods sold overseas, and up north, are hit with massive tariffs. In the case of U.S. dairy sold in Canada, we are hit with a 270 percent tariff. In no uncertain terms, the president said those days were over. That kind of stance requires tough talk and resolve, which Trump has in spades. To confront the leaders of other nations and tell them big changes are in the works, that takes a spine of steel, the kind of spine past presidents were lacking. Naturally, the other leaders would not be happy. They've been taking advantage of America for decades. They wouldn't like being told the party is over. The pathetic excuse for a PM of Canada, Justin Trudeau, went to the press bashing Trump. The media also made it seem like the other leaders were furious, hell-bent on getting back at Trump. The picture below has been making its way around social media for days now with plenty of leftists shaking their angry little fists at the president claiming this photo shows how rude Trump is. How little he respects the rest of the world. How he's just a big ol' meanie head. How this is surely a sign of the end of times. German Chancellor Angela Merkel found the contentious group of seven summit with U.S. President Donald Trump a sobering and depressing experience but said European leaders won't be taken advantage of on trade. She conceded in an interview on German public television Sunday that the meeting's outcome wasn't a great thing. Source, Twitchy. Taken out of context, this seems like Trump is being hostile and unnecessarily tough with our allies, which is everything the liberal media says about him. We'll get to the facts in a second, but why are the American media outlets attacking Trump over this? Would BBC or any journalist from other countries criticize their leaders for putting their country first? Why are American outlets upset that Trump is getting tough with other countries? His stance will help America tremendously. You'd think, as Americans, they'd be happy about it. Sadly, the media puts their hatred of Trump before patriotism. It's understandable that Merkel was upset over the outcome of G7. What leader wouldn't be concerned that their gravy train was about to end? But the tone of the German chancellor was not one of anger or confrontation, but sober resignation to the facts. She knew the United States couldn't and shouldn't keep the toxic trade imbalance. That's why she said it was sobering. She's not dealing with limp-wristed Barack Obama anymore. But before you think our allies were about to bum-rush Trump, take a look at this. Interesting how they leave this other picture out of the story and how it's not going viral. It was taken just moments later. This is how our dishonest media spreads fake news. They take a photo, a split-second moment frozen in time. Paired with a carefully edited article. They can push a narrative that the G7 leaders were antagonistic at Trump. But what does second photo tell you? Donald Trump is an effective leader. He is a shrewd negotiator and incredibly personable. Even economic rivals like Canada and Germany will be won over by his skill and charm. They might not like the changes coming to their trade deals, but they are far from becoming enemies with the United States. But an honest portrayal of the events at G7 would make Trump look good. President Trump is bringing his plan to the table. The other leaders, understandably, are upset or concerned, but they are willing to negotiate. They want good trade deals with the United States and are willing to work with our president. What does CNN or ABC report? Trump angers the world. Merkel depressed and angry. They don't care what kind of damage they are doing, or how they disgrace their reputations, as long as they can tarnish Trump's image to the American people. This is more reason to reject the mainstream media and everything they say. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.